Today weather will be mainly fine, cloudy periods tonight. We expect weather becoming cool tomorrow morning and in the following couple of days due to a monsoon coming in. Hi everyone, I'm Juliana. Today I've invited Dr. Lai, who's the scientific officer at the Hong Kong Observatory. Morning. And he'll be telling us all the interesting facts about weather forecasting. Sure, what do you want to know? So I know a question that a lot of us want to ask is, how are typhoons or hurricanes named? So there's a World Meteorological Organization where there's also a typhoon committee consists of 40 members. And these 40 members more or less is like uh, 40 different countries. So each country will give out a list of names. And then the um, Japanese Meteorological Agency is responsible for choosing names about five from each member. And then there'll be a list. So um, the list will be used uh, one by one when a certain intensity is reached by each uh, storm. No wonder the names come from different countries. Yes. So the question for today is, is it possible to predict weather with 100% accuracy? Um, it is quite difficult. Uh, it's all due to the uh, theory or the chaos theory. Very complicated physical um, equations are input into a computer where they calculate um, physical properties of the atmosphere to predict uh, weather in the following um, couple of days. So as we go further into the prediction period, um, the accuracy will drop because in chaos theory it says that um, the accuracy in the longer run of a system is uh, dependent on the accuracy in the initial condition. So um, slight differences or errors in the initial condition will lead to um, error propagating uh, down That's because if down to errors in observation, for example, um, there could be errors in measuring temperature or pressure. And also the biggest problem is we have lack of observations around the ocean. We don't have a, a, a lot of islands or oil rigs. Um, so it really depends on observations over land and also from satellites. Chaotic behavior can actually be demonstrated two pendulums attached end to end. Even if the starting condition is slightly different, the resulting trajectory will be completely different. So this is um, what is so called a butterfly effect, where um, if the butterfly flaps its wing in one part of the world, it will cause a certain uh, weather phenomena, for example, tornado in another part of the world. But obviously, this is an exaggeration of basically the chaos theory. Yes, that's right. And you can also try this out yourself. So now let's pick a number between 0 and 1 and key it in your calculator. Next, you can key in the following equation in your calculator. If you keep pressing the equal sign, you get lots of different values and you can record the first 20 values. Next, try again with a slightly different starting value. For example, if you start off with 0 0.2, you can start off with 0 0.19999 instead. 